What's up guys, Ru here, welcome back to the channel. Before I continue with today's video, I am trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year. Therefore, it would mean so much to me if you guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. The Wolven Arbigo mod giveaway once this channel hits that particular milestone. For today's video, it is going to be another Arcanine video. I can't believe this is already part 3 of this series. If you are new to this channel, this is primarily a fashion channel whereby I talk and discuss about things that revolve around my personal style. However, something else that I try to incorporate is to bring some of my interests such as video games and anime and look at it from a fashion perspective such as today's video. A little fun fact, the previous organic videos went pretty viral with both of them summing up to over 200,000 views over on this Chinese streaming site called Billy Billy. One of the Chinese translators was actually kind enough to help out by adding Chinese subtitles onto the video so that the Chinese speaking audience would understand the content of the video better. So just a quick little shout out to everyone that watched it from Billy Billy. Thank you so much for the amazing support and feedback as well as being so interested into the videos that I do put out. Hopefully you all will enjoy all the future content to come as well. Back to the content of the video, one thing that we cannot deny is that Arcanine does exceptionally well when it comes to your character design and there's so many reasons as to why you might like them. For me at least, it has to be how fashion plays a very big role towards the character design. I love how all the artists did such a good job in implementing a lot of real life wear elements into the outfit. I mean sure, a lot of them are overly exaggerated, but there are some that are subtle enough that creates this fine line between looking overly cosplay and just outfits that you could see yourself implementing in everyday life. Among the whole fashion side of things in this game, one thing that I want to highlight into this video is just how Art Knight manages their skins or outfits for all the different characters. Just like many free to play games out there, one of the methods for them to generate revenue is by selling players skins or outfits that allows them to customize and change the look of their favorite characters. However, instead of just labeling it as skins and just adding them in the in-game store that many games tend to do, Arcanine did it in a way whereby these outfits are actually clothes that you can purchase from different fictional clothing brands that exist in the Arcanine universe. Each of these brands have their own identity, brand history, and design language just like a lot of brands that you would find in real life. You have to admit that is pretty darn cool. This adds another layer of interaction which makes you feel like you're actually buying clothes from a legit brand in a virtual world. Hence for this video we will be looking at two of these fictional brands and picking out one outfit each which I think is pretty cool. Just like all the previous videos in the past, I will try to provide some sort of real life alternative for you guys so that you could potentially add it into your wardrobe if you are a fan of these characters. A disclaimer that I have to put out every time that I do this series, all the pieces that I will be talking about are not the exact same one to one piece as the one that you will find in the game as that will be pretty much impossible to find. However, these pieces could potentially have similar silhouette or color blocking as the in-game stuff. At the end of the day, the idea of this whole series is to help translate what you know these in-game characters are wearing into real life wear without looking overly cosplay. With all that being said, let's geek out to some fictional brands. The first one that we will be looking at is Cambrian, which according to the game's lore, they are a very well-known brand within the colder regions of Terra. They specialize in clothing that are made for cold climates and winter seasons. Hence, a lot of their pieces needed to be able to withstand various outdoor elements such as snow, wind, and having to be able to retain body heat as well. In many cases, it kind of reminds me of brands such as the North Face or Canada Goose, whereby they specialize in making pieces that are specifically designed for cold weather usage as well. Among all the outfits that's in the collection, one in particular which is my favorite, and I think it is a lot for you guys as well who play Arc Knight, is the Winter Messenger outfit for Texas. If I remember correctly, it is part of the starting few outfits that you can get when the game first launched on Global. The main standout piece from this outfit is definitely the outerwear that she's wearing. It is a very unique piece because to me, it looks like a hybrid or mashup between a parka and a poncho. You have the more traditional silhouette of a parka with the zip up button opening, as well as two side pockets that you can commonly find in most parka jackets, 
but the sleeves on this piece are cropped and have a very wide opening which does resembles a lot of a poncho piece. To be able to provide warmth to the wearer, it does look to have fur lighting throughout the inside of the jacket. Essentially, this piece does lean more towards a women's silhouette, but I feel like with the correct sizing as well as fitting, it can be a pretty unisex piece as well. Finding this piece in real life was a huge challenge because of just how eccentric this piece looks. Based on the information given in-game about this piece, the one piece in real life that I find it to kind of fit this description quite well is the Nike Lab ACG SS18 Women's Deployed Jacket. To start things off, this shell jacket has a pretty similar color blocking with the in-game jacket. It is primarily in white with some black detailing. Moving towards some of the features of the jacket, the piece is constructed with Gore-Tex fabric, hence you will have arguably the best protection when it comes to waterproof and wind resistant. And because this is just a shell jacket, it makes it perfect as an everyday piece that helps protect you from the weather conditions outside. Some other similarities that this jacket shares with the in-game one, based on the description, is the ability to detach parts of the jacket. You can remove the hood as well as the sleeves and once you do, I think it looks even more alike to the jacket that Texas is wearing as it transforms it into crop sleeves. For all of you guys out there, there's also a men's version of the deploy jacket, but just note that it does not have the removable sleeves. The only issue that I see with this jacket is that since it's only a shell jacket, it's not going to be able to keep you warm during those super cold days. Hence, you really have to depend on your inner wear to keep you warm. Based on the styling of Texas, something like the Nike Pro Warm Long Sleeve Top or Uniqlo's Heat Tech would be great options as they are compression types that hug your body which allows you to exaggerate the wider opening of the sleeves. If you do want extra warmth, this Alix handcuff sweater is a good option as it's fairly slim and body hugging as well. Now looking at her bottoms, compression leggings and shorts would do the trick paired up with any pair of white runners. As for accessories, she seems to be wearing some sort of crossbody bag or a compact messenger bag. You could look into brands like Orbit Gear, Gorilla Group or Anfang Leve who all make some pretty sick and high quality bags. The next and final brand that we'll be looking at for today's video is Vita Feel. Arguably, this is my favorite brand within the whole Arc Knight lore. Built around the idea of outdoor exploration, it focuses a lot on functional and technical wear which is right up my alley. The outfit that I choose to break down is Jessica's Ash outfit. I think I got drawn towards this outfit because of the huge backpack that she carries. A lot of times, you will tend to find messenger bags being the first choice when it comes to functional and technical wear. That's why I think opting for a backpack is a very nice switch around. Taking a closer look at her outerwear first, I really do like the long hooded coat that she has on with the worn out and burned detailing on the sleeves and the ends of the coat. There are many brands out there that carry similar silhouettes like this that ranges from affordable all the way to high end. If you do want proper functionality, then this Zahatu Parka from Anfang Leve is a pretty cool piece. Constructed using Stoltz ETA proof fabric, the piece is going to be waterproof and breathable. The inner of the jacket is lined with Polartec Alpha insulation to provide improved warm insulation without the need of thick layering. Some additional features of this parka includes five pockets and have articulated sleeves to provide better mobility. Looking at her innerwear, it does look like she's wearing an inner piece with an extended collar and for this, I decided to go back to another Anfang Leve piece, which is the Azari vest from the women's line. I really like this because it's pretty low profile, which doesn't bulk up the outfit. If you are a girl and you just want to mimic Jessica's outfit straight up, then you could go for any sort of black shorts. For guys, you might want to stay away from the black shorts and just go for a pair of clean black pants. Footwear wise, you have a bunch of different options as it looks like she's wearing a pair of hiking boots. So brands like Solomon, Carrymore, and Timbaland all have great options and selections. The main standout piece of this outfit, I would say it has to be the backpack as without it, it will look rather plain. The backpack style appears to be squarish and large, hence the first one that actually comes to mind was this Orbigear R101 Amphibious backpack as it has this tactical utilitarian look 
which I think fits perfectly with the whole aesthetic. The entire backpack is primarily constructed with X-Pack fabric, therefore you don't have to worry about rain showers and even snow, as the material is waterproof while being lighter as well. It has all the compartments that one might need with the ability to add additional mods on the back to give it extra storage compartments. You could definitely carry a weekend's worth of clothes and even a laptop with this bag. That is all I have for today's video. What are your thoughts on some of these fictional brands? Would you, you know, one day want to see them actually come to life? Or what are some of the video games that you have played that you really do like kind of the styling and outfits of those characters in the game? Do let me know down in the comment section box below as I would really like to check out other video games and look at it from a fashion perspective. As always, if you did enjoy watching today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And once again, if you are new to this channel or just haven't been subscribed yet, please, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because I really am trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year. Till then guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.